Welcome to another parent teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. And welcome everyone to lesson 51, uh, a lesson called Symmetry Cutting. And this lesson will be kind of a nice way to uh, introduce your child to the concept of symmetry uh, in a very simple way. And um, this concept will be even further explored in the lesson on pattern blocks. So this will kind of be our introduction. So. Um, here are the materials that we will need for this lesson. Uh, some copy paper, as you can see, uh, thin copy paper. Try to get the thinnest you can, 20 pound copy paper, because we're gonna be folding it and cutting through several layers. So the thinner, the better. And you'll need a pencil, I'm gonna put that off to the side, and two sharp pairs of scissors, as you can see here, these are I guess you'd call them child scissors, and that's exactly what I'm going to use. And your child, you and your child can work on this together. Um, hopefully, uh, he or she will do all or most of it, but if they do need a, a little help, you will need to come in with, an, with your help and your own pair of scissors. So two sharp pairs of children's scissors, because um, if they're dull, your child will be very frustrated. And before we, we get into talking about symmetry here, I'd just like to say that uh, um, in this lesson we will not be addressing uh, learning how to use a pair of scissors for your child. Uh, and that also uh, will be further explored um, in the lesson on, uh, that's called Art Tools and Materials. So let's get started here. And of course, we always start at the same place. What does this word symmetry mean? And uh, a good adult definition for symmetry would be the correspondence in all attributes of parts that are on opposite sides of a dividing line or center. And we're gonna do it with paper today, but of course in real life there's symmetry everywhere. Uh, 3D symmetry, uh, just all kinds of symmetry. But uh, we're gonna keep it very simple today and, and just work with this one sheet of blank, or a couple sheets of blank paper. So uh, it's very, it'd be very difficult to explain symmetry to your child. You just have to do it and then, and then show him as you're doing it and after you're finished. So don't even try, just jump right into the, to the lesson here and here's how you'll start it. Uh, we'll start it with some two-way symmetry, and um, by doing that, we'll fold the paper. And we've done this before, your child has done this before. Line up the edges, two equal halves. And let's just, uh, and, and you can do this for starters, uh, just to make it a little easier for your child. You can lay out a design. Um, uh, for him or her. So let's say it looks something like this. And of course, uh, I should mention right now, uh, no matter if you're right or left-handed, if the paper is this way or this way, you're drawing these designs on the fold. So, and you'll see why that's important in a minute. So you wanna have some uh, cutouts on the fold. Of course, you could have them on any edge, but especially on the fold. So start out on the fold. And let's see, how about a little diamond there? How about another uh, little diamond there? 
And then perhaps you could have a, a more challenging one, like a bolt of lightning, which would be a challenging cut for your child. Um, let's see, what else? I'm just randomly uh, coming up with some things here. Here's a nice uh, circle. And let's see, what other shapes could we put in there? How about a little squiggle? It kind of goes like this. Just, you know, to give your child some uh, good cutting practice. And uh, we might do some things on the outside edge here, uh, but that's probably more than enough for your child to, uh, to uh, take on right now. So, um, and there's some concepts you can teach your child as he or she is doing this. For example, uh, a lot of times children will like to cut in like this and then try to maneuver their, their hand and the paper around and come straight down. Well, you can give your child a new strategy where you go and cut to the end of the line here and then you come back to this line and then meet up with it. And most, most children really don't get that right away. That's something that you'll uh, have to teach to them. So once again, let me show it to you. You cut there to the end of the line and, and show your child and come back and cut there and boom, the little triangle falls right out and, uh, and you're on your way. So I'm gonna very quickly cut these. Of course, this is a nice challenging cut for your child. It, uh, you know, he or she will have to move the paper around and, and uh, that's a concept your child has to learn to cut things. Um, let's see, here's the circle. And of course, your child really has to, you know, some kids will try to go like this, but uh, really the paper must be moved as you go. And let's see, finally here, we'll go around this one. And it almost looks like a peanut, doesn't it? It's funny looking. Um, let's see here, can we do anything else? That's uh, all on the fold, of course. Let's just do this, just to make it interesting, to show you can cut on the outside. I'm just gonna freehand a little square there. And there it is. And now, as we say, for the moment of truth, um, we open it up and there is your symmetry. And, and to, to bring the, the idea of symmetry home, uh, probably, especially early on, you will have to actually draw a line on the fold. So watch what I'm doing. And then you could say to your child, Everything on this side of the line is exactly the same as on this side of the line. It's a ref what's called a reflection. If you flip this side over, which actually is what we you know, were just doing when we had them, the two together, it's the same. And uh, you know you can go back and forth with that and point out each individual object here in this square we cut in the corner. But if your child is still having trouble, or even if he or she is, and here's something you can do take uh, scissors or have him or her do it. Cut right on this nice little line you made. Here we go. And then do this and you prove to your child that in fact these two pieces are symmetrical. It's as simple as that. They're exactly the same. So that's uh, two-way symmetry, and, and that's a good uh, place to start with this uh, little exercise, uh, these little exercises on symmetry that we're doing here in this lesson. And now let's try some four-way symmetry. So we'll start out like we did the last time, folding the paper in half, 
lining up the edges, pressing down on the fold. And now we're going to fold it one more time. And there we go, press down hard on those folds. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna check to make sure I know where my folds are. They're here and here, because we're going to be doing most of our cutting on these folds. And let's make another simple design. Here's a triangle. Let's see. Um, what can we make here? A longer triangle. I'm going to keep it very simple this time. And let's say a circle right in here, like a quarter of a circle. And uh, let's see. Let's put something out here this time. We could... Uh, round off the corner and then we're going to kind of freeform squiggle the edges here so here we go once again uh, you know check your child make sure their 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 uh, their cutting mechanics are good and remember uh, to remind him or her about this little trick where you can go to the end of the line here and then come back and meet up with that line you cut that's a great uh, trick that all good uh, cutters no. Uh, all right, I'm going to cut out the circle here. And I'm going to round this edge over here. And now watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a squiggly edge. Your child can do this or put anything up here that they want. And uh, maybe I'll continue it over here. Squiggly edge. All right, let me get rid of all the, uh, the scraps here. Uh, let's open it up and see what we have. And of course now we have uh, a four-way symmetry. And of course you could look at it this way or that way. It hardly matters. And once again, uh, you know, talk with your child. See if they really understand that, uh, that these four sections are the same. And of course you'll want to draw align in with your pencil or marker or whatever to show them where the lines of symmetry are and explain to them all four of these are exactly the same exactly the same and once again if uh, they're still having trouble let's cut it we'll stack all four of them on top of each other to prove it all right, let's do this one. Okay, let's do this one. All right, now we can stack them all together. And look at that, they're all exactly the same. They are, it is a symmetrical construction. All four of those sections were exactly the same. So we have, in fact, four-way symmetry. So, uh, you know, do, do several of these with your child. Two-way symmetry, four-way symmetry. You can even come in and cut in the interior with some fancier cuts if you want. And of course, uh, there's, you know, even greater symmetries you can do than that, six, eight, 12 that are more advanced, but I would hold off on those for now. Maybe you could show your child if you want to make uh, him or her a snowflake or something like that. That's a little more sophisticated. But it's, it's hard enough for a young child, uh, their muscles being what they are, to cut through more than four sheets of paper. So I'd stick with the two-way and four-way symmetry. And like I said, if you want to make a fancy snowflake for your child, uh, you, you can do that just to show them uh, uh, what's coming down the road for them when their hands are a little stronger. And that is our lesson on symmetry cutting.